Statistic is stark. If you have a cardiac arrest and you're not at a hospital, nine out of 10 people will die. But CPR can more than double those survival chances. As Leslie Mouton reports, anyone can do CPR now. This walk is a big step for Nicholas Smith and his fiance, Ryan. To put it bluntly, Nicholas died and then came back to life. I'm just glad that I came back as me. Nicholas says Ryan saved his life by doing a type of CPR not usually taught in class. That's because she'd never taken the course. I just never gave up. I just kept doing it. I knew I had to do it. Ryan found Nicholas face down on the floor with no pulse. She called 911, but she didn't stop there. For about seven minutes, she did hands only CPR. When you love that person so much, you know you want to do it for them. Don't be afraid during an emergency. Make an attempt at CPR. It's better than no attempt at all. And it gives the patient a survival rate of, of double or even triple the amount. CPR instructors say don't shy away from CPR. It needs to be done critically within the first few minutes of a cardiac arrest. There are a few simple steps. Kneel at your victim's side, place your hands in the center of the chest, then press hard and fast until help arrives, just like Ryan did. If somebody doesn't try CPR, then they're not going to get lucky at all. I had that one chance. Some other things to know about CPR. Good Samaritan laws in most states typically protect against liability. Hands-only CPR is as effective as CPR with breath for adults and pushing hard and fast to the beat of the disco tune staying alive equates to about 120 compressions per minute. That's the rate needed to keep blood flowing. That seven minutes of CPR that she gave was the most critical. That if it wasn't for her being there, that I wouldn't be standing here today. Definitely a miracle. A miracle created by CPR and a deep love that wouldn't die. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.